For the first time in four decades, the University of Tampa will have a new coach directing the men's basketball program. After 40 seasons and 700 wins, Richard Schmidt stepped aside and retired. The legacy he leaves will be hard to replace, but the man tasked with the duties of taking this program to the next level is a proven winner. His name is Link Darner. I mean, there are not too many coaches who can say I was decades <laughs> at a program and, and, and did a pretty good job. Did an unbelievable job, um, you know, built the program up to what it's, what it's become and where it should be. You know, I don't, I'm not going to be here 40 years, I can guarantee you that. You know, to, to be in one place that long this day and age is amazing. Um, and, and what he was able to do and how he was able to do it is just amazing. You know, there's, like I said, you're not going to see, I think uh, Coach Campy at Oakland's probably the next longest tenured coach at one place. I think he's been there about 36 years, but it's, it's hard to do nowadays. It's safe to say that basketball has always been in Coach Darner's blood. He even grew up and played high school basketball in the state of Indiana, the same state where Hoosiers happened. You know, the one with the famous movie. Well, I mean, I grew up in a basketball family. My dad was a high school coach. I grew up in Ohio and Indiana. I played high school basketball. We moved to Anderson, Indiana back in the late 80s. Um, and Anderson, Indiana was kind of the basketball capital of the world at the time. Um, you know, Anderson High School, Jim held over 9,500. They sold 7,200 season tickets. You had Madison Heights, you had Anderson, and then I went to Anderson Highland. Our sectional every year had 10,000 people, no matter who was playing in the wigwam. The tradition was very high. You had coaches shows, you had TVs, you know, your games were on, on TV each week. Um, so I grew up in, a, in an era, and my first game in, in high school basketball on the JV team, we played the Marion Giants, who were number one in the country with Jay Edwards and Lyndon Jones. And for the JV game, you come out and there's 7,500 people there for the JV game. It was kind of welcome to Indiana basketball. So the Tampa Spartans are spiffing the place up, getting the gym ready for their new head coach, who doesn't only have basketball in his blood, he's got winning in his blood. He's been successful at every level as a coach, including a national championship when he coached just down the road at Florida Southern just a few years ago. Florida Southern, you get the national title. Coaches go an entire career and don't get that. And it's not uncommon not to get it. What was the what was the magic? Well, I think, you know, the group of guys we had, probably the year before, you probably could ask our team, probably the year before we were more talented. Um, probably were a little bit deeper. Um, we were ranked number two in the country. We were undefeated. And Dominic Lane, a kid from St. Petersburg, goes for a steal, turns, breaks his foot. Um, and I think if he doesn't do that, we probably go undefeated and we probably win the national championship. We played a Tuskegee team that got very hot first round of the regional at Florida Southern. Uh, they played the game, they played the tournament of their life, but they played the, the, their best game of the year against us and beat us by two. And I think it was motivation for our guys the following year. Um, we had a great group of guys coming back. We had a good core. We added a couple guys, uh, but it was all about winning. At the end of the day, they all wanted to win. They all wanted to win a national championship. And from day one, that was our goal. It was an easy group to coach because they coached themselves. Um, you know, it wasn't a group that you had to get on. They understood what their goal was and how we had to get there and what they needed to do to get there. And, you know, I think we started the same lineup for all 37 games, which yeah. it's hard to do. I think it's a key. Everybody was healthy. Everybody played. We played the same pretty much eight, nine guys all year. And it was a team that gave them themselves up. You know, I always say there's a quote, give yourself up for the betterment of the team. They gave themselves up that year to, to have one goal and that was to win it all. And, you know, as I always say, the ball's got to bounce the right way. You got to be playing well, can't get guys in foul trouble. And everything went right that year for us. One of the reasons Coach Darner found this job so inviting at the University of Tampa is the athletic department, where winning is a must. National championships, are something that every program plans to be contending for. And when you look at this athletic department, just consider, in the last few weeks alone, there were more NCAA regional events being hosted by Tampa than some schools will ever host in a decade. He knows what it means to be a Spartan, and he wants the basketball program to be a national contender. 
I think that's the thing, the great thing about the job is and about the University of Tampa is everybody competes at a national level. As a basketball coach, that's what I want to. I want to be competing at the national level. I want our program to compete at the national level. That's a great sell here is that it's just not one or two programs, it's all the programs. I think uh, somebody said like 95% of the teams competed in postseason play. Well, we know one of the teams that didn't compete in postseason play was men's basketball. So our goal is to get there. You know, we want to be a team that's playing. We want, a team, we, we want to be a team that's competing at the national level. I think that's a great thing about the University of Tampa is everybody competes. It's not about winning the league. It's about winning national championships. And that's what I want as a basketball coach. So now it's time to put the Tampa Bay region of basketball fans on notice. The Spartans are heading in a new direction. And you're all welcome to climb on board for what's going to be one magical ride.